what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? That's going to be a closed casket, homie. Those are the words jokingly uttered by a police officer who was on the scene of the officer-involved murder of Sean Reed. Backstory. A police officer says he was in his unmarked vehicle when he spotted a driver driving recklessly. So he gave pursuit. Another officer is behind him in an unmarked vehicle also. After a short time, they abandoned the pursuit because it's too dangerous, but they do call it in. Sometime later, a few minutes later, another officer spots him and gives chase. It's a short chase. Sean stops his vehicle, hops out, runs, they gun him down. They say it was a gunfight. Police spokesperson said a gun was found near him. I watched that video, family, and this dude was capping hard. If he really had a gun, I can guarantee you he would have waved that gun. The dude was unarmed. I don't know what compelled him to drive that car recklessly through the streets or what made him want to get himself involved in a police chase or what made him stop that car, get out and run. But all that's irrelevant. You know why? Because they didn't have to shoot that boy. What happened to somebody running and you giving chase? Now, I know some of y'all say, man, Willie D, you know how that ain't how it go, man. You know what? I, I, I got all that. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But still, if it's not going to be the law that you have to use minimum amount of force, then take it off the books. Stop lying to everybody, making everybody think that everything is fair and equal. If a person cannot run from the police, then without getting killed, then put it in the books. Right now, it's not illegal to run from the police. Well, it's illegal to run from the police, but it's not punishable by death. Running from the police is not punishable by death. Running from the police is not the police fearing for their life. How can they explain that they feared for their life when the guy is running away from them? It doesn't make sense. And the video clearly shows it. The dude is running from them. He's running away from them when the shots rang out. They shot the dude 13 times. Well, they shot 13 times. I don't know how many times they hit him. They try to fix it up and say that they tasered him first. They tried to tase him and then they started shooting. That don't even make sense. Who the hell tried to tase somebody when they're running away? Like running full speed. Don't even make sense. Then after they shot him, dude comes standing over him. Yeah, got him. And they're joking about killing the dude. Officials say the officer who fired the fatal shots is black. <laughs> like we give a damn. We don't care about optics. What we care about is justice. Now, I don't know what prompted Sean Reed to lead the police on a high-speed chase. I don't know what his motives were, but they were certainly misguided. You got to know 
You're playing with your life when you lead the police on a high-speed chase, especially if you're black. You got to know what's going on. You got to be very aware of what's happening out here. These people are not civilized. They're not made of God. They're not made in the likeness of God. They're just not. So you got to be very careful how you move around. It's as simple as that. I suspect that this is going to be an open and shut case. It is very hard to prosecute police officers who do anything, especially murder. It's very difficult to get one of them to face punishment. As dude was driving that car, all I could think of is, why would you do something like that? Why would you play with your life like that? And he had the wherewithal to mention his mother. He said, mom, I'm sorry. Why would you put your mama through something like that? I don't get it. But having said that, do I think he deserved to die? No, absolutely not. Running away from the police should not be punishable by death. I'm not anti-police. I'm anti-police brutality. There's a difference. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?